Siri has completely changed the game for Apple, and how iOS users interact with their iPhones and iPads. Just say hey Siri followed by a supported command phrase and you can check the weather, see what's on the news, order meals, and so much more. The voice assistant has made life so much easier since it launched, so it can be troubling for any iOS user when Hey Siri stops working all of a sudden. If you're experiencing the issue now, don't fret, because we're here to help. In this video, we'll show you 7 different ways you can get Hey Siri to work again. The first thing you need to do when Hey Siri isn't working is to check your internet connection. While most users think Siri can still work even when their iPhone or iPad isn't connected to the internet, that's not exactly the case. The voice assistant isn't ingrained in your phone or tablet's databanks for it to be summoned even when you're offline. On the contrary, it relies heavily on a stable and fast internet connection to be able to answer your queries and respond to commands. So to check if your device is connected to the internet, just go to the settings and tap Wi-Fi. If you're not connected, select your home Wi-Fi network or a different one from the Wi-Fi settings interface. Then input the password. Once you're online, try saying Hey Siri once again and see if it works. If you're already connected to a fast and stable network but Hey Siri still isn't working, the next thing to do is check if Hey Siri is enabled. It seems unlikely, but sometimes it might be that you just forgot to enable your voice assistant or it might have been suddenly disabled at some point. Either way, here's what you have to do to activate Siri again. First, open settings and go to Siri and search. Next, tap on the listen for Hey Siri switch so that it turns green. Then enable the rest of the options where Siri can be accessed. Give the Hey Siri voice command another go and see if it's now working. If not, let's move on to the next method. You may also need to set up the Hey Siri voice command. This is one of the first things iOS users do when they're setting up their newly obtained iPhone or iPad. However, there are instances where you have to reconfigure Siri especially if you performed an iPhone factory reset. In that scenario, you need to set up Hey Siri again to help it recognize your voice once more. Here's a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to do that on your iPhone or iPad. Find and select Siri and search from the Settings app. Next, disable Listen for Hey Siri, then enable it again. When the device prompts you with the setup Hey Siri screen, tap Continue. Then simply follow the on-screen instructions and dictate clearly and loudly the commands provided. Once finished, tap Done. From here, try the Hey Siri command once more to find out whether Siri already recognizes your voice or not. Still unsuccessful? Try turning off voice control accessibility. Some users have complained about how the voice control accessibility feature has been interrupting related functions on their iPhones or iPads, including Siri. Several think it's caused by bugs plaguing the latest version of iOS 14. While the voice control accessibility interface is built in and can't be removed, you can disable it to stop it from interrupting with Siri. Here's how to toggle voice control accessibility. Open settings on your device. Next, scroll down the menu and tap the accessibility option. Then select voice control from the accessibility interface. If the feature is enabled, disable it via the slider button. Updating to the latest version of iOS or iPadOS can also get the Hey Siri function to work again. Some glitches may come as a result of bugs infiltrating an updated OS, which is why Apple periodically releases iOS updates to resolve these issues. Updating your OS is easy. Just open Settings, scroll down to General, then tap on Software Update. From there, you will get a notification that an update is either available or not available. If there is an OS update to download, go ahead and install it. If there's no available iOS update for your device, you can try the next method, which is to reset network settings. If this sounds scary, don't worry. Reconfiguring your iPhone or iPad's network settings won't delete any of your data, files, or photos. It's only going to reset the settings you've configured for your Wi-Fi, mobile network and data, Bluetooth, and VPN. That said, this method should be one of your last resort options when Siri is experiencing hiccups. That's because you still have to back up your network passwords and settings before you can reset your network settings, which can be quite tedious to do. Here's how to reset your Apple device's network settings. Head over to the Settings app on your iPhone or iPad. 
Next, scroll down to General, then tap on Reset. Choose Reset All Settings afterward. Then enter your device's passcode and follow the on-screen instructions. Your device will restart afterward. As required upon restart, set up your Wi-Fi connection, Face ID, and Siri voice commands again. If all else fails, you can always reach out to Apple support for help. Some errors might seem simple and easy to resolve, but actually require professional help instead of just a DIY solution. If none of the six solutions we discussed worked, the best thing to do is contact Apple support. Apple has dedicated tech experts who can give you more advice regarding the issue, be it a software or hardware error. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, make sure to like it and share it with your friends who might be experiencing the same issue. What other iPhone-related issue do you want us to tackle next? Let us know in the comments section.